take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to close. And as they close, that's it. Access a deeper feeling of calm and relaxation, allowing tension to leave your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, imagine a bright, vibrant color that represents resourceful relaxation. Imagine it going in through your nose, filling your lungs with this feeling of resourcefulness. And as you exhale, just imagine a darker color leaving your body that represents any stress, any tension, any feelings of anxiety leaving your body in your outward breath as you imagine an emotional transfusion taking place that what your body needs is going in through your nose and what your body doesn't need is leaving your nose in your outward breath and you can be intentional as to what you need most right now maybe it's a feeling of confidence Or a feeling of being unflappable. That you can deal with stressful situations in a way like a swan gliding across a lake. Even if the emotions are running high, you can be calm and composed on the surface. Or maybe it's a feeling of worthiness. And imagine breathing in that feeling of worthiness. And imagine the opposite leaving your body. Any feelings of self-doubt. Any things that you don't like about yourself, just accept them as unnecessary, unuseful thoughts. Allow them to leave your body in your outward breath. So as you breathe in and breathe out, you're feeling more confident, more relaxed, more comfortable. Because that tension, that stress, that worry, that anxiety are all leaving your body in your outward breath. And as your physical body relaxes, you are awakening your imagination. Because your imagination is more powerful, more powerful than a computer, more powerful than movies. Because your imagination enables you to experience things that haven't existed. You can go back in time and visit memories. You can imagine a future, a future that's desirable for you. And those thoughts can connect to emotions and those emotions can connect to wonderful feelings of possibility. So as you breathe in and breathe out, feel that you are awakening your imagination And I want you to awaken a particular memory. A memory of when you did something nice for yourself just to make yourself feel good. And that could be a memory from childhood or teenage years or in adulthood, but a time when you did something wonderful for yourself just because you wanted to feel wonderful. And I want you to observe that memory, see yourself doing something for yourself back at that age that you were back then. As it puts a seed of an idea there in your unconscious mind that whenever you've done nice things for yourself just because you wanted to, didn't that improve the relationship you had with yourself? Your actions linked to emotions and those emotions linked to a mood that lasted longer than the original event. Because you turned up levels of confidence and self-esteem and worthiness and value. Because you were willing to do something for yourself just because you needed it. I want you to imagine that you're stepping into that version of you that feels like you're worthy of self-love 
and to realize how good it feels when you do something for you, that you live life on your terms in your way and notice those wonderful feelings of confidence and self-esteem. And I want you to imagine that you've found something, you've discovered something in your imagination that you can only do in your imagination. In the real world, to travel the world, you would need transport like planes and trains, boats and cars. But in your imagination, I want you to accept that you have this powerful ability to teleport anywhere in the world. And I want you to imagine that you're like a child that has discovered an amazing toy and they're getting to play with that toy for the very first time. I want you to tap into that feeling of curiosity, playfulness and excitement. And you've experienced that many times in your life and it's okay to experience that now. This teleportation could be a machine, like a tube, it could be like a remote control for a TV. Just imagine you have something that enables you to teleport even if it's just thinking of the place you'd like to be. And I want you to imagine seeing one of those antique globes that sometimes you see in studies. It's an impressive globe. There is every country in every continent of the world on this globe. And I want you to imagine that you're looking at a place on this globe that you've wanted to go to. Maybe you're looking at the country of Spain or Italy or Scotland or Germany. And I want you to imagine choosing one of those places And each time you go to a different place on this globe, you will be activating a powerful, positive, emotional resource that is helpful for you. Maybe it's the spirit of joy and happiness that can come from Spain or the passion and appreciation, health and vitality of Italy. Maybe you can imagine teleporting to the mountains and the lakes of Scotland. Or maybe you can imagine an ancient castle in the hills of Germany. And allow that playful part of your imagination to start traveling the world And you can do this rapidly. You can go to a beach in Fiji just to realize you don't like the sand. And then instantaneously, imagine eating in a fancy restaurant in Paris. And then instantly, imagine that you're looking at the countryside from the tower of an old castle in Slovenia. Allow your mind to take you on a journey all around the world, wherever it wants to take you, whatever it wants you to do, just allow that to happen. As I start providing suggestions for your subconscious mind, while you are traveling the world, your mind is open to new ideas about adventure. That as you engage in fun and adventurous activities, that itself is cultivating a deep sense of self-love and appreciation for who you are. That each new adventure you embark upon brings you closer to your true self, allowing you to radiate love and attract the person of your dreams.
these aren't always one-offs. These can be rituals. And by embracing these self-care rituals, you nourish your mind, body, and soul, creating a foundation of self-love that gives you the ability to magnetize the perfect partner into your life. Fun and adventure are catalysts for personal growth, empowering you to become the best version of yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more you attract love into your life. With each step outside of your comfort zone, you expand your possibilities and open yourself up to unexpected encounters and connections. Imagine yourself, perhaps, in a continent you've never been before, in a country you've never been before, in a city you've never been before. And I want you to create an image of what you would consider someone that's attractive to you. And maybe you're just walking down a street and you catch the eye of that person and just imagine you look at them and they look at you and you smile and they smile back. As you create the idea that chance encounters have an increased probability the more you cultivate the courage to go outside of your comfort zone, to go to places you don't normally go and experience things you don't normally experience. And that as you prioritize self-care, you exude a radiant energy that captivates others. Increasing the likelihood of attracting someone that you are also attracted to. Because fun and adventure create an aura of excitement and joy around you. You don't need to be irresistible to everyone. Just the one that's right for you. The more spontaneous, unpredictable things you do, the more you increase the probability of manifesting the person you would want in your life. Fun and adventure awaken your playful spirit, allowing you to connect with others authentically. Whatever qualities you would like in the ideal partner, you will crave a desire to create those qualities in abundance within you. While it's true that opposites attract, it's also true that like attracts like. If you're looking for a confident man, you will have a desire to be more confident. Whatever qualities you admire in someone else, cultivate those qualities in you. And you can call that self-love or self-care, but each time you invest in you, you are sending a clear message to the universe that you deserve a love that matches your true value. And your true value is a reflection of how much you value yourself. You are igniting your inner spark, illuminating your path, opening your future up to wonderful opportunities and possibilities. Each adventure expands your horizons, creating a magnetic aura of excitement. And within your imagination, with this powerful ability to teleport, 
I want you to imagine where the person of your dreams is likely to be. Are they likely to be doing something active, intellectual, cultural? And I want you to imagine with this teleportation machine that you are taking yourself to the places that someone that you are likely to be attracted to would naturally be anyway. And imagine that you are in these places feeling sky-high confidence, brimming and bursting with self-esteem. Imagine that you're in a place where you see a reflection of yourself in a shop window and you like what you see. You consider yourself beautiful, attractive, desirable, and you radiate that energy. As you turn a key in the lock in your mind that opens up the possibility of chance encounters that could lead to a wonderful relationship. If your unconscious mind is ready for a future of fun, adventure. Adventure being whatever is outside of your comfort zone. But also personal investment in you. Giving you what you need. Let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine using this teleportation machine to feel like you're returning to the present but returning with all of these wonderful resources with you, feeling a sense of worthiness, a sense of confidence, a sense that you are eager and excited, that the world truly is your oyster and you are the pearl, that wonderful things await you and you're excited to explore what those wonderful things could be. Use that teleportation machine to teleport you right back to the present in your own body, listening to my voice as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that all of you is back in the present, listening to my voice as very soon I count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken optimistic, confident, choosing to live life on your terms in a way that serves those things that you value the most, starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.